Welcome to the Ridge Outdoors. Today I'm going to be making a ammo can gift box for Christmas. My place of work found out that I'm handy or is known for a long time. So of course, every little project like this I have to, <laughs> to make. Um, luckily this time I had a little bit of notice and so I'm going to make a gift box for Christmas. Most other people from work are supplying the, uh, the things for it, but it's going to hold a bottle of, of whiskey a couple cups and a couple other kind of bar accoutrements so i'm going to show you the process some of the things i've done um, to the box it was a little beat up this was originally uh, for mvgs or night vision goggles uh, so this used to be pretty beat up i spray painted it just with some uh, krylon camouflage olive drab <clears throat> you'll see all the the things i've done to it this is just the the glass that's going to go in there I put just a piece of cherry in there and on this side I put a bottle opener. <clears throat> I just used a Dremel and took off the handle on top and I'm going to replace it with a leather strap just to make it look a little bit nicer. So I'm going to show you that right now. So we still have a little bit of time to dry, so it'll lighten up a little bit. But that's the good side, and then the rough cut side you can still see, which I think is kind of cool, but it's going to be inside the ammo can anyway, so you're really not going to see it. But I wanted to make that cherry just a little bit darker, so that oil with a little bit of tint will do that for us. Okay, so I'm just going to press in a piece of wood pretty much. May end up trimming the foam a little bit more. I think, no, we'll be good. So we got that in there. But on the inside, just kind of tucks in there. We'll have some more things, little goodies to put in there. So now I'm gonna sky the one side just to make it a little bit thinner so these fit a little bit more secure. Don't have to do too terribly much. So I took just about half the material off, maybe, maybe a little less than that. Just punching a hole where that rivet's gonna go. You can use kind of any hammer for this. I'm gonna use this rawhide because it's right here. Okay, no scratches, so that's good. Seems like we're on there pretty good. Cool, halfway done. I'm just gonna do this other one up and I'll show you how it looks when we're all finished. Okay, so I uh, got the second side attached. I churched up the, the edges a little bit or just took a little material off to round the edges. Now, if I can get this thing open, there we go. I'm just using, this is a medium medium brown however it comes out pretty dark so I think a dark leather strap will go good with the uh, green ammo can now we're just gonna hit all our surfaces and now on the leather I'm just gonna put a little bit of mink oil this is kind of my go-to you know it's all natural and works pretty well you do have to put it on every now and then but <clears throat> for me it kind of just gives it the best best overall finish. I want to say Neat's Foot Oil is another pretty decent one. I don't use that one too much. Just like the uh, mink oil, super easy. Just put it on with your hands. I'm really weird with stuff on my hands. Like I hate lotion on my hands. So this kind of forces me to put, uh, put stuff on my hands and they don't crack as much with this stuff. So here's the final product. Just an ammo can that we put a leather strap on to make it look a little bit nicer. Gave it a quick coat of spray paint. I didn't get that film because I did it at work, but you guys can figure out how to spray paint, I'm sure. A um, couple glasses will fit in there. I only got the one for now. 
and a Jack Daniels bottle fits perfectly in here, nice and snug. And even if you had a, a little bit bigger bottle, that foam compresses pretty good. Um, we have that piece of cherry in there that we put some Danish oil on to make it a little bit darker and protect it a little bit. But other than that, we can put a couple little bar items in here and it's good to go. And also with that bottle opener, not to forget that. Only thing else I would possibly do would be to, you know, put a stencil on it to make it look even more like an ammo can. If I can find my stencil, I'll put it on there. Um, but other than that, just a real simple holiday gift idea. If you have anything like this laying around, whether it be an ammo can, uh, ammo crate, some kind of wood crate, um, you know, any, any box thing that is, you know, themed to what someone likes or what kind of gift basket you're doing, whether it be a military theme, um, you know, anything like that. You could do a Pelican case even, um, throw a bottle opener on a Pelican type case and do whatever you want. One of my videos coming up, hopefully I can do a ammo can or um, Pelican case boom box, but we'll see how that goes in the future. So if you like this, give it a thumbs up. Definitely subscribe if you're not uh, subscribed yet. And more videos to come. I took a little break. Um, just got other things going on. Super busy at work. So hopefully every week, maybe every two weeks, uh, be looking looking out for videos. So we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.